Oh, hi, it's Rob, and I'm laying down. Not because I'm lazy, although. Um, what I'm doing is I am installing uh, trailer jack legs for the back of the trailer. I have a utility trailer. It's nothing super special. I, I like it. Um, it's big enough to handle pretty much anything that I need. And, of course, the back folds down to make a ramp so that I can ramp stuff up. But if you've ever had one of these trailers and you know if you don't have that tongue attached to something and you try and ramp something up here, the trailer tips up like that. And you usually don't want that. It can be fun in the right circumstances, but it's not something that's generally fun. So these are designed to go underneath here. They unlock. And you release them to keep the trailer from tipping back. So I got these on Amazon. I will attach an, a link if you want to get something like this, but they are trailer stabilizer jacks and they are not horribly expensive. Uh, the installation is a little bit, you know, it, it's there's some work involved to it. So what the kit comes with is two jacks and these eight spacers. I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, so I had to get the bolts and I got some extra washers just in case. Uh, things that you will need. Um, of course, a couple of punches or just one punch. I managed to have two. Uh, drill bits for the right size for the tap. And the tap is to tap these bolts. These are uh, 3 8 16. Of course, a crescent wrench to bolt them in. Also a hammer to uh, set the punch. Uh, of course, drill and socket set. Beverage of your choice. Um, I have some San Pellegrino in a glass. Now, I need to be pretty precise with how I drill these holes. And I don't want to try and measure it because I'm not that good at measuring and being just a little bit off can really mess with your day. So, what I am doing is using this nice piece of blue painter's tape that I put on over the top. And press down into those little holes. And then I take a handy dandy sharpie. And fill in those nice little holes. So now I have the exact template that I need to drill the holes. Putting this in approximately the same location as the other one. And I want to try and get the holes centered on this beam. So right about there. <clears throat> Locate the center of the hole as best you can. So when you're drilling into steel, you always want to use a lubricant. It will help keep your bit sharp and make it much easier to drill. Same goes for tapping. Use lubricant.
after the holes are drilled, uh, I want to mount these. Now what I've found is that uh, these spacers, two of these spacers is not quite enough for the clearance for this, uh, for that latch lever. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and used some extra washers. So I'm putting one on, then two spacers, then another washer. And that comes out to just about the right amount. So I want to put on some uh, blue thread locker. I always love how the blue is in the red container and the red is in the blue container. It can be a little awkward. This will help it, help keep it tight as it's mounted. Now before that's tightened down, I want to do the other side. Did I mention this was awkward? I will also say that there are times when tools are much better. And now if we look, we can see that there is clearance here enough where that is not binding. I really should put something in there to keep it compressed a little bit so that it's not bouncing all over the place. But these fold up and out of the way. And when you need them, you fold them down, release, and there you go. So there you go. Added another safety feature to the trailer. I'm sure that there will be more trailer stuff coming, but uh, hopefully this will put an end to it for a little while. Uh, I've got other things that I should be doing too. So, all right, till next time, see you guys.